stitching already. You see? I'm waiting for more people to get online that's why I'm taking my time to make sure like there's so many people that are watching this video because um, I feel like you know people should come out and stand for what what they believe is right you know we shouldn't be giving people an opportunity to come here and say false things about other people you know I've never come onto Facebook to do a Facebook live video and most importantly talk about um, I, I, like I've never come onto Facebook to talk about things to do with politics, you know, stuff to do with what. Um, sorry, I got a call in between because I strongly believe that you know I respect everyone in their capacity. I mean, my dad is into politics. Unfortunately, like so much is happening. Um, sorry, there's so many people trying to call me, asking me so many things. So I may get um, interrupted a couple of times here and there, but. There's so much that is happening in just, you know, a couple of days. And for me, I honestly strongly believe in so much. I'm getting interrupted, I mean, interrupted by so many people. My aunties, everyone is calling me, my dad's friends. Everyone is trying to call me. It's not a network issue. I'm using Afrisale to actually do this video, so I, it, I'm not ha actually having a network issue. But I'm gonna pay for the food, so I'm doing a live Facebook video. If it gets cold, I'll come back and then you warm the food, okay? Anyways, I'm so frustrated right now. And um, I was gonna have lunch somewhere, before, I mean dinner before I actually came on to here to do a, a video and sorry about the interruption. Anyways, like I said, so many people are calling me about this issue. I'm seeing so many things onto Facebook about my dad, and I really believe in two I believe in people saying the truth, and the truth always, you know, sets people free. I'm here as Sheila Gushumba. I've never, I, I've never come onto my dad's Facebook page, and if you actually notice my Facebook posts, I rarely post about my dad, and unless it's his birthday. Or unless it's Father's Day because our things are different I mean to the entertainment industry my dad is into politics he's about empowering people you know motivating people to, to be better he's he really wants Uganda to be a better place than it is I don't know if you guys really hear me right now but let me get straight into this issue yeah I am very very frustrated about NBS's Facebook post saying that my dad was caught with cocaine and mar marijuana or weed. In our family history, we do not have anyone who takes cocaine. We don't have anyone who takes drugs. Matter of fact, my dad has always come out to tell people do not take drugs or do not take this or that because it's not good for your health. And the only thing that we know as, you know, you know people who are just trying to you know do any health research is that you know drugs is not something that is good so today in the morning at what time was it I rarely everyone who knows me as a friend they know that Sheila Gashumba wakes up only after 11 a.m. or midday because I believe it's not about even waking up early in the morning it's about the time when you wake up are you being productive so today I woke up at at 8 a.m. actually I was um, I was actually in my bed when a van came and I'll be posting the videos because I took the videos you on my snapchat account I took these videos up and when everything was happening so these people come in a van people in an uniform everyone holding a gun so I'm in the house I'm in my room actually and my maid comes panting like you know how have you ever seen a dog running from like here maybe to Masaka and coming back my dog 
my, I mean, sorry, my, not my dog, my, my house help comes panting, like knocking on my door, like, Shila, Shila, Habasaja Bazia by name Mundu, Tatawali Pumpingo. You get it? So I'm like, what's going on? So imagine I'm from bed, I had to just look for maybe something so quick to wear. So then after that, um, I go to the, to, I go outside to see what's there. I find my dad standing there with cuffs, which are Mpingo in Uganda, and men in uniform holding, you know, these AK-47s, like those big machines, not even just small pistols, they surround the house. I'll be posting the videos on, on here on his Facebook platform for you guys to see and to watch what actually happened. After, like, they stood outside for, like, 20 minutes, and I'm wondering what's going on. People start coming slowly. I'll be posting all these videos so you guys see. I want the world to see, and I don't want to lie to anyone. So after that, sometime they say they want to check the house. We say it's okay. They check the house helps house room. They check my room. I was parking because I'm supposed to go to South Africa to host uh, the Stuckit Awards happening in Johannesburg on 4th September this Saturday. So I was parking. So of course, since I have so much going on, I have clothes, shoes, my room has already had like so many cases and I'm packing. So, there's so many people, like I've seen a post, a blog where it's putting two of my dad's passports. Before, in, in, when I was younger, I was called Sheila Karen Nyinabashumba. But when I started working on TV, we felt like Nyinabashumba was a long name and Gashumba is like the family name. So, of course, to change a name, you have to do an affidavit and all that. So, sorry about that. I'm having so many calls. I'm having so uh, what I was trying to tell you is that I actually have two passports Sheila Karen in Abashumba, which was my old passport, and I don't use it anymore. I did an affidavit, uh, uh, an affidavit and I'm called Sheila Karen Gashumba now. Same happens to my dad. My dad before had a name, Franco. Malingumu. And since you know what happened when Randis tried to come to Uganda long time ago, they tried to, you know, get names as Baganda. You understand? So after he grew, he kept telling my grandfather, like, you know what, we shouldn't be hiding. Then he changed his name to Gashumba. You get it? So that's why my dad, I think in some blogs that have been seen, is he has one passport as Franco Malingumu with another name, and now he has Frank. Gashumba, which is okay, which I, I also have two passports, and there's nothing bad with it. So when I see NBS television, I'm so sorry, I have so many calls. When I see NBS television putting a post about how my dad was found with cocaine and drugs, I'm getting so frustrated. So many people are calling me, and I have to keep pressing busy. Like I said, when I see a TV station in Uganda that claims to be so big. You go onto your Facebook platform and you post a post that's totally different with what the police spokesperson has posted, then I start to wonder. You haven't spoken about people coming, you weren't even there when the people came, you don't even have the footage, you didn't even bother to try to investigate and say, okay, Frank Gashumba has been arrested, yes, was arrested yesterday, let me follow CMI because I remember the last last time I mean last November last November my dad was I think arrested by UCC and there was so much news there was NT there were so many TV stations at the house unfortunately I wasn't in the country but it was everywhere so it was on YouTube this time there was no media station that was at my place and you come onto Facebook and tell people how of all the things maybe that that are in the story or anything of all the things you decide to say that he was caught with drugs please let us try not to say so many lies you know it's always good to say the truth tomorrow it will be fanga shumba may be held up people accusing him of so many things pictures taken here and here tomorrow it will be you you know, there is only one person who is, who is allowed to judge us in this world, and that's only God. You cannot come because you have had a conflict with Frank Gashumba before, and you are trying to use the same, you're trying to use, you're trying to be an opportunist because, oh, Frank Gashumba was arrested. Let me, let us go to our Facebook page and say, Frank Gashumba was caught with drugs. Of all things, you didn't even say, I don't know, passports, this, that, whatever. 
you're talking about cocaine and weed because you want to frame Franga Shumba as a drug dealer, you want to frame you you want to frame Franga Shumba as a bad person. You you don't even have the audacity to put up a, a detailed story. As a TV station, you have to take your time. I've been in the TV industry since I was eight, and I know you have to take time to build up a story, you know? So please, if you want to build up a story, I think it would be more authentic for you to take your time, yeah? Take your time, investigate. Call Sheila, I was at the house, and I said to you guys before, I've said to you guys before, I'm gonna put the videos out here, and I have, and I signed over whatever, Maybe that the, the, past, the two passports, the God of his name, because he changed his name before. And I have changed my name before, Sheila Karen in Awashumba. Every time I pass by the airport, I carry both my passports. And even when they got those two passports, they were both together. Because even when he travels, even when I travel, I always carry my old passport and my new passport. Even when he travels, he travels with his old passport and his new passport. Because it's not an offense to change names. As long as you have done an affidavit, and it's as simple as it is and i want you guys to know that i've never come out here i don't want people to say this is cheap popularity i don't really have the time but i was so you know i was so touched as a daughter because my dad always comes here to defend me when people say so many things and when people say so many things whatever whatever i've never come out here on his facebook page and like i say to you i only post about my dad when either it's his birthday or it's father's day so i come on here to say my dad does not have anything to do with drugs he does not sell drugs in any one way so if you want to come on here to spell my father's name because you're using this opportunity that he was caught and the story of him being caught is is maybe for tomorrow when i've maybe come down and whatever i am admin on my father's facebook post i see some people here asking me what washila you're on your father's facebook page i'm his daughter actually when they were checking the house they kept saying you she oh no shida oh no those are secretary what are we checking my room was well is up, upside down actually they were at my place for they were at my our house for four hours Four hours I had to go to the South African VFS to pick my passport I only reached there at 2 30 because those people were at our home from 9 I think 9 a.m. I probably like 9 or 10 a.m. to like 2 30 the whole time they were just there and please guys don't come here telling me I hear Sheila you don't know what your dad does you don't know whatever 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 I was there, no one was there. There was no media house. If anyone wants to know anything to do with my dad's arrest, you can call me. Those who have my number, my Facebook page is on. Just please help us and stop spreading rumors. These things spoil people's names from just business, from visa applications, just because someone went on their Facebook page, just because you own a TV station. You go on your Facebook page and say, Sheila, I mean, Fanga Shumba was caught with cocaine and drugs. End of story. Do you know how he ended up at CMI? You don't know. Oh, you haven't mentioned that the, the picture you've put there has his brother as well? You don't know. Do you know when they got them? Do you know when the other person was gotten? Take your time. Become investigative journalists. Just because you have gotten a picture, but you have a phone, a smartphone, but you are going to fun and you take a Facebook, but you are going to go to the phone, but you are going to go Small brains. Take your time. Investigate. Okay? Investigate. You Just because. You know the funny thing about Uganda is that Franga Shumba has been caught in a scaffold. Just because they've caught Franga Shumba, everything has happened. You have forgotten any. You have forgotten everyone else in whatever is happening. You're focusing on Franga Shumba because you have beef with Franga Shumba. Now, if my dad is not here to talk, if he's 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 not here to talk, Tomorrow, MB Zinzina, Sisaba Montu Sente, Ngena Kubera Wonga Njogira. I do not want anyone to come out here to lie to people just because you have a smartphone 
you have gone over and taken the picture wherever it was you understand you know you're taking pictures but they came to my room and they found my, my my friend's laptop and i told them i have two there are two macbook macbook my macbook uh, laptops in my room and they say okay we want to take that as well you know how does how do the laptops in my room have to do with my dad next minute but that's also what data over data whatever so what i'm trying to say is if you come out here and you have done some investigative journalism and you have done a story and it has proper proof the sequel now kobuzibu never now want to just because of funye chintu chimu or you or making the big mba here cocaine over drugs over bichi you get it that's not right